Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Rich Reviews, I'm Richard and today you join us at Porsche Owners Club Region 16 Coffee Meetup. second meetup after the COVID situation after lockdown and as you can see here we've got an exceptional turnout for Region 16 so Stuart and Elaine um, have got a, a lot of supporters and, the, and an exceptional turnout from many other regions as well so it's not just Region 16 but this has been organized by Porsche Owners Club Region 16. As you can see a vast array of Porsches here today and a special edition We've got a 355 here, and this is a 1995 355 GTS. It's a manual gearbox. It's had a full renovation. Um, paintwork's been, it's been taken back to base metal, and it's been fully resprayed. And in addition, all the interior has been re-upholstered. So in effect, a full nut and bolt renovation. And this car has done 90,000 miles, 90,000 miles. You don't see that very often in a 355. It's believed, that in the UK there aren't any other 355s that have higher mileage than this car and it is regularly driven it's really one of those cars that the owner advocates daily driving well regular driving for sure is the best way to keep these cars uh, maintainable and reliable so let's just have a look around the car you see it's got the standard wheels so that probably these are Argento Nürburgring silver that was the standard silver that was used from from pretty much the early days forward to the modern days now. It's a standard silver color that's used on, on the Ferraris, on the supercar Ferraris. If you walk around, it's obviously in Rosso Corsa, so the what we what's known as resale red. Um, and you'll notice that the, the, you notice that the car's got uh, quite a bit of dirt on it because again the car's regularly used. And we come around the back. The, the classic rear lights of the 355 and it's um, and it's the it's the 355 GTS so it's actually got the removable center panel so if we come around here you can see that this section of the roof is actually removable so it unclips and you remove this section of the of the roof and you, you stow this away in the actual front of the car so in the front luggage compartment um, I believe you can also stow it away behind the seats it latches behind the seats as well so to open these cars it fooled me for a while there obviously you've got the lock here which is just like a, a 458 you've got a standard lock on the outside but to actually open it you have to put your hand inside it's so a bit of a leap of faith and then you've got a normal handle there that you pull and then you can open the car so it's got a crema interior as i say this has been fully renovated and if if we look here the car's also got carbon kick sill plates on there as well um, in addition to a nice little rubber guard that helps prevent some scuffing on the actual carbon. I believe it might have some PPF on the carbon as well to protect it. But if you look around, there's a good old manual gearbox in there. Beautiful gated shift. Got a, a lovely sound to it when you actually change gear. Um, nice, nice direct clunk um, in the actual gated gear shift. So you can actually feel, feel the actual engineering of the car, feel a very mechanical shift. And the very definitive Ferrari layout of speedo and rev gauge in the actual instrument cluster, which is which is classic for these style of of, um, of Ferraris from this period. Well, for 348 and 355, obviously it changed downstream, but this is what's known as the classic layout. So we're just going to take a walk around and look at the cars. Quite a few of the cars are leaving now. Unfortunately, the weather's turned a bit inclement. Um, typical early summer weather in the UK. So we've got nearly coming up to moderate gale force winds and it's just started to rain a little bit so we'll take a quick walk around the cars we won't go into the details of every single car but you you pretty much can see which cars we've got here and um, we're just going to walk around and, and uh, pick out some of the main cars So 
here we've got some new and late Boxsters. Cayman, a few Caymans here. The Cayman S, a Boxster in one of my favorite colors, black. Blacked out um, badging as well. But that's just the 2.7, that's the standard Boxster. One of the more modern box dresses. Let's come across here to the 911s. Well, we've got a box Boxster here again. Infiltrating, in, infiltrating within the 911s. We've got a, uh, I think this is a straight 911 Carrera 2. Oh, this is actually a 4S, so this is the 911 Carrera 4S. And here we have, um, I think it's Seal Grey or Grigio Grey. Well, it's not Grigio, Grigio is a Ferrari colour. I think this is Seal Grey, um, a straight Boxster. This 911 Carrera 2, 997, I believe. Yeah, 997 Carrera 2. A Boxster, one of the early Boxsters. I think it was a 987, the model. And a straight Carrera S, black Carrera S, 911. Here we have a, a 992 uh, 911 Carrera. And we have a, the Porsche Taycan group here as well. So we have um, 4S, the Turbo, and the Turbo S Taycan. As you know, um, if you haven't seen already, if you check back through uh, my video collection, you see that we did a, a, a drive out on the actual Taycan Turbo S. So check down in the actual links below and in the supercar playlist, you'll see that I did a, a test drive in the, in the Taycan Turbo S. Very exhilarating, fantastic cars. We we'll just have a quick walk, rack, walk round of the of the Taycans. So it's quite a short video because the weather turned quite bad. But as you can see, um, fairly good collection still here. Most people are starting to go now. Um, so we're going to call it a wrap and call it end of the day. Um, thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you're not subscribed already, please think about subscribing. Please, if you like the video, if you like what you've seen, then please click the, the thumbs up and like the video. Um, we're trying to move forward to a thousand subscribers this year. So if you're not subscribed, think about subscribing already. Thanks a lot for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video.